It's been about 30 minutes snaking each wire out of the circuit panel and taking all the breakers out. And the reason why I'm doing that is I'm not going to reuse any of this wiring. Mostly because I found some that was rat chewed and had arced out and burned. And uh, I don't want to burn this house down. So I've inspected the panel. The panel looks okay for now. It does not have a cover. I'm going to actually have a, a licensed electrician replace the panel. Um, I hate to bring a contractor in and you know have to pay more money. But, you know, some things are worth doing. I have done panels in the past. But um, by code and where I live now, you have to have two ground rods six feet apart. That's not that hard. I really could do it myself, I guess. So I'm trying to talk myself into it. But anyway, uh, for right now, what I'm going to do is I have uh, two clamps up here that I'm reusing. And I'm going to go ahead and do two electric runs from the panel to these two bedrooms here. And the reason why I want to go ahead and get some electricity ran is this insulation here has a lot of dust in it. And I want to open a window, and I have a box fan, and I want to put box fans in the windows just to keep my lungs healthy. And because uh, I'm going to drop the ceiling, all this uh, has to come down. So I've finished framing out these two bedrooms. Um, I need to patch the floor, obviously. Uh, let's see. The door frame, this is six inches. The, the size of the trailer is six inches apart. So I actually milled um, pieces of wood that were exactly six inches wide six by two and yeah and so I'm gonna have to custom build a door frame for these two bedrooms obviously but other than that that's not too bad and so yeah I framed it out to 30 and a half inches just in case because I'm putting in a 28 inch door and usually when I add an inch on each side and I want to add a little bit more just in case but anyway these rooms are ready for uh, you know electrical drywall all that crap not really ready for electric or drywall yet. This is a beam I've milled, and it's going to go from here to here, and it's going to take the load of the roof. Although, uh, there's some more lumber I milled. Although, um, if you look, you can see they actually have a plywood header, but then it has gaps in it because um, they only put it above where a doorway is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I could... Uh, it'd be cool if I could have a long screw that screwed into that other roof joist. And then I could build a wall on this side. I'll just build a wall on both sides. Take the load. Take this wall out. And I'm only covering about uh, 9 feet. And so it's not going to be terribly hard. But the beam is ready. Bark side down. I want it to be a little woodsy looking. So that's going to be cool. And so I'm just hammering it out. Do a little electrical today. And then tomorrow hopefully I can drop that ceiling in there. Um, figure out where my lights go, my light switches, get all that electrical ran, and then I'll be off to the races uh, insulating and uh, doing, uh, um, hanging some drywall. I, I kind of like, a lot of people like to do one air, uh, the whole area all at once. I kind of like uh, getting one small area finished, and so I like to get these two bedrooms mostly finished, and actually, uh, I'll put an air conditioner in one of these rooms, and I'll, I have a little mini fridge somewhere over here, over there. And I'll put a, I have a cot, an army cot I bring out, and I'll set that up in here. And whenever I feel like I need to take a break on these hot, hot days, I'll have what I call a cool room. Because, you know, in Georgia, we get temperatures of 105 sometimes. And the humidity is what's going to kill you, not the temperature. But um, just, you know, a room to cool down in case I get heat stroke, <laughs> basically. Hey, hey, I'm a fat guy, so I have to think ahead about heat stroke. <laughs> so yeah demo the roof it's a cotton type insulation kind of like what money's made of <coughs> so I wear a mask put in five outlets probably about a I don't know 40 foot run mm. no probably more like 20 20 foot run 25 to yeah one breaker 20 amp and uh I'll probably do one breaker each room. Yeah. The last trailer I worked on had uh, one breaker for two rooms. So I figured, you know, modern houses, they, you know, people have more computers and shit. So I'll probably end up putting one more plug. So this will have six plugs, a closet light, and a main light. The main lights and the closet lights will be LED, so they're not going to be like, you know, 
25 watts to combine. And so the outlets, let's say uh, a 20 amp breaker, you could pull, um, I believe it's 2400 watts. Something like that. You're only going to be pulling, let's say, divide it up between four plugs, you're pulling like, I don't know, or six plugs. That'd be uh, 400 watts a plug, so that's more than enough. I don't think that's going to ever be a problem. So, yeah. Packing up for today. Did a good, good eight hours. Feel good. Tomorrow, install light, light switches, uh, and clean up and get ready for drywall and insulation. I got to make sure there's good nailing surfaces for everything. And uh, pull some of these, tick, these stupid staples out or pound them in or something like that. Repair this, which broke, and uh, hopefully tomorrow, you know, next day after tomorrow, I'll be able to start uh, putting insulation and drywall up. All right, I've been wet vacuuming like a madman, and I patched the hole in the duct work that was for the duct that was in the bathroom. Well, I don't need any more because I took out that bathroom to make this bedroom bigger, so that duct will be okay. So what it was, I took a piece of stainless steel scrap I had, I cut it about two inches all the way around bigger than the hole. I put silicone, this is white silicone, it's meant for bathtubs, it's uh, mold, can't mold, it's, you know, it's really good for ductwork actually. And I put it down first and I put that on there and then I used metal tapping screws, screwed it to, and then I, I don't want to, you know, throw away half of a uh, bottle of uh, caulk, so I went ahead and went all the way around it and spread it out real well. So that's good, and so now I'm ready to cut my plywood, and uh, yeah, cut my plywood, and yeah. <laughs> all right, I got my light switch installed. I got where the light's gonna come down. I've pulled all the staples and bent the ones I couldn't pull. Uh, I installed a light switch. I decided to put the light switch on the outside of the closet. I've had them, I've installed them on the inside, and I think it's just easier. You got a light box there, and so I just gotta tie these two wires into that plug junction. And then uh, this will all be live. But I gotta put the roof up first. So, um, yeah, you know, kind of disappointing how much it costs me for insulation. Just this small 10 by something room <coughs> it's cost me $200 worth of insulation and about $200 in drywall. So I almost feel like leaving that roof up and just drywalling over it. Eh, no. The living room, I'll do that. But anyway, about to get it on, and uh, I got to treat, even though this is not mold, it's just darkened because of water damage, I'm going to spray this all down. But yeah, with bleach, 50-50 water bleach.